Hello and namaste. Welcome to 24 Talk. I'm your regular host, Sunil Acharya. Today, I'm going to talk about Viber and its application, how Viber is reaching in selling point and how it's going to develop, over develop present scenario. Having the user of 1.1 billion Viber has been one of the popular calling and messaging app around the globe. Customized features and the cost-effective services have not only the made it hot cake, but also has received profound uh, appreciation from the users too. The dream of the getting in touch with the personal and professional people has been a reality. The secret of the success lies in its rapid improvisation, which impact supplies and the interest of the customers. To discuss on the Viber Access Snap collaboration and its prospect, benefits that Viberlink uh, will bring to the users and its upcoming projects for Nepali users, we have had the CEO of Viber, Mr. Zamil Agawa. Let's welcome to him on our show. Mr. Zamil, you are welcome to our show. Hello, Namaste. Namaste. We are quite happy to having you in this common platform. Before we move on the uh, regular questions, I just uh, have a curiosity. How Viber has been able to reside into the heart and the mind of the user in such a short span of time? It's a, very honestly, it's a surprise for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, such a beautiful story. It started 10 years ago. And uh, four guys decided to disrupt the telecommunication services and try to um, make it more affordable. And the reason why is because, was, uh, because one of the guy was in a long distance relationship and he couldn't afford to call his girlfriend. So I decided to launch this technology. And then and it, it became such, such an important need that very quickly in a, in a matter of a couple of years, hundreds of millions of users around the world started to use the service. And since then, it never stopped. Uh, we have been very successful in a lot of countries around the globe, very different countries. And I think it's uh, because communicating is one of the basic needs. Um, of course, we need food, we need lodging, we need education, and then we need to, really to communicate. We need to be close to each other. And um, especially when, uh, after these times of pandemics, we have seen how important it was to stay connected with our friends, families, and colleagues. So um, that's probably the reason of the, of the success. Okay. Uh, can you tell us in depth about its uh, partnership with uh, Snap's AR lenses? What features will Viber have after this collaboration? It's a very important partnership for us and a very important partnership for Snap as well. Snap is, um, is by far the best camera on the market, uh, very strong in augmented reality and the technology is, uh, has no equivalent on the planet. And um, we have heard the need from our users to be able to create funny content and uh, content that can be striking and a little bit, uh, um, a little bit outside the reality of our world and um, especially the youngest, the youngest audience, the youngest part of our audience. So uh, we have this discussion with Snap for uh, quite a while, I would say, and we launched this partnership on uh, June 30th. So basically, the, the partnership will give um, uh, will allow the users of Viber to um, access tens of lenses of uh, filters that will allow uh, allow them to um, to create augmented reality experiences. So. Um, okay possibility to create masks, to uh, have a beautifi beautification uh, features, um, to, um, to, uh, to have augmented reality experiences, and to uh, also even to create their own personal Bitmoji with, uh, with the Snap partnership. So we basically bring to uh, all the users of Viber new features and new technology that will uh, increase the fun for them to express their expression and to uh, to have to create striking content for their for their friends and families. Okay, we're quite uh, lucky that we uh, Nepal is chosen in Viber uh, initial market. So why did Viber choose Nepal as an initial market for its uh, feature uh, release? Because Nepal is an important market for Viber. I mean, um, we um, we have a very strong penetration in Nepal. We have a very uh, very trustful relationship with Nepalese users, and it's been uh, like that for many years now. We are growing in Nepal. I mean, uh, I think last year we grew 25, 27% compared to, last, compared to the previous year. So 
it's a it's a it's a country where we have a great relationship with uh, with the users and the users trust us. So we have decided to put Nepal in our phase one of our rollout. There are 30 countries in the world where this feature will be rolled out uh, during the summer, probably in a, between the end of July and beginning of August, and Nepal is one of them. Uh, and we are very happy to to be able to bring this um, this feature to, uh, to 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 Nepalese users. Okay, thank you so much. Will this feature to able uh, available in live video ch uh, calls um, or chat or only in messaging? So phase one, they will, they will be available in um, in messages. So you'll be able to create uh, pictures, videos, and GIF using augmented reality features, and you can share uh, to to your friends. You can also uh, store them on your own device and share them in another platform, whatever you want to do it. And in phase two, probably uh, uh, by the end of the year, we will be able to, um, to use these features during live video calls. And at some point next year, we will uh, also open the, the stories feature for the ability for people to create content, short term, short uh, videos using augmented reality. Uh, that will be uh, posted in some places of the uh, of the app and shared, um, like we can see in, a, in in Snap, for example. So it's a okay. three phase project. Mm -hmm. Will brands be able to make uh, their own uh, filters or um, and AR lenses after this release? Absolutely. Uh, that's the uh, that's one of the idea we have. We um, we already have a couple of brands that have created. Um, uh, lenses uh, like uh, the WHO, the World Health Organization. We have a, ma we have a, a mask of a mask, actually a digital <laughs> mask. Okay. Uh, we have the FC Barcelona, the football club, uh -huh. has created some, uh, some features. And we also have the WWF, the Worldwide um, uh, Fund, uh, Wildlife Fund, sorry, uh, which um, has created stuff. And, and yes, we, are, we intend to um, give the possibility to brands to create their own lenses uh -huh. uh, to, uh, to be close to, the, to, their, to their consumers. Okay, especially the big brand um, um, are already collaborated with um, um, Fiber. So uh, what sort of the international brands uh, you are expecting to onboard in future? And um, uh, what Nepali brands are looking to collaborate uh, to use the Fiber Lens in future? Oh, we, we, have, we have started discussion with uh, a lot of brands. I mean, at Fiber, we, um, we are very respectful of the local culture. And it's a big difference between uh, Fiber and uh, the other company uh, of the Silicon Valley was trying to impose the, the culture to the world. So we, we prefer to do a partnership with local companies, local celebrities, local brands. And this is uh, the intention we have for, for this feature. So our teams in Nepal, we, we have a team in Nepal, I started to discuss with the local brands to, to, uh, to um, see their interest to create some content and some lenses and, and, and filters uh, on the platform. So uh, in the coming month, you will see some, I'm sure you will see some uh, Nepalese brands available for Nepalese users, and probably not that much of um, um, global American brands available because that's not the idea. We really want uh, Viber uh, to be to be used by Nepalese in a Nepalese way, with uh, respecting the culture. Okay, Viber is taking a big bit on content development. It already has customized stickers, gifts, communities, chatbots, and more in the app already. Will it be bringing more feature in the uh, near future? Yes, it's a, it's a, you know, it's something that has been a long debate at Viber. And um, um, for long, for many years, Viber was focusing on communicating, messaging and calling, um, one-on-one -on -one calls, um, um, group calls, group messaging. And we saw that, uh, especially the young generation, there is um, there is there are new ways to communicate that are that are embedding um, fun content into very serious conversations, and that's why we um, it started by the stickers, of course, and then the, the the GIF features, which is a way to express emotions. And then we see now that the ability to create his own emotions using filters, using new content, is something that uh, our audience is asking for. Um, the other trend is, of course, that uh, it's not only about discussing with people that you know, it's also discussing with people that you don't know, but you share a topic with. So that's the, that's the idea of the community feature. And, um, and then the, the, the need for content, for content, for content creation is very important. So you ask me, for example, if brands could create content and answer, the answer is yes, but actually 
at some point, users will be able to create lenses as well. We will propose users um, to create lenses, maybe by organizing some contests, for example, and the best lenses will be available to all users. This is something that we have in mind because we see that the, the, really the, 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 what we are missing in, a, in messaging platform today is to reproduce the way we have to express our emotions in real life to make them happening in a, on, a, on a digital platform. And this is the reason why those filters, those tools are so important to, um, to create more ways to express emotions. Okay, how many lenses are being released initially? Will developers be able to add in their own filters like Snapchat and Instagram? Yeah, so, so we, we, have, we are launching with about 30 features, but um, these 30 features is 30 lenses, sorry. Those lens, 30 lenses are the number of lenses available for a user. The, the, and we try to limit to 30 just to have a clear visibility and not to have too many if not the users are lost. But it will be a very um, high frequency of, um, of um, uh, renewal of those, uh, those lenses. We intend to, uh, to, uh, to renew uh, 20 to 30 features every week and maybe more in the future, depending on the, on the appetite of the users to create their own lenses. And if we imagine that if, uh, if, like we think, users will be excited by creating their own lenses, we might go to uh, more than 50 or 100 features a week um, um, everywhere. At some point, I'm not. I'm, I'm a little bit perspective here, but maybe next year. But I suppose that um, you and me will have complete different lenses available, and even your, even your best friends and yourself will have different with different lenses on the same phone, uh, because because um, clearly people will have a um, different different uh, interests and different appetite for different lenses. Okay, uh, will Piper be employing Nepali AR developers uh, for Nepali market uh, for the Nepali flavor products? Of course, we, we, we already do that for, for stickers, for example. We have a, we have a team, Viber has a team in, um, in Nepal, and we are using local, uh, lo, lo, local companies to localize content. So we have done that in the past for sticker packs, for example, and we will do that for lenses, absolutely, yes. Okay, great. So Viber has uh, always branded itself as an end-to-end uh, -end incorporated applications. After this collaboration, will Viber's data be shared to the Snapchat? So it's it's not only a brand; it's it's a it's a technical architecture mm -hmm. because um, there are some companies that are just claiming that they are secure, and, and they just think that by saying that they are secure. That they are secure, just a bit of magic. But it's there is no magic in security. There is no magic in safety. There is only technology, and the technology that we have implemented, which is end-to-end -end encryption, ensure security for our users. Um, because by definition, even if I decide one day that I want to read your chat, I cannot do it. It's impossible, and this is very important. Um, so this is our DNA. This is our signature. This is something that we have decision we have made six years ago. And there is no reason to change that because actually it's even, it's even um, worse than that. I mean, there are more reason to strengthen security now around the world. So it's very important for us. So the answer to your question is no, the data, there is no data shared with, uh, with Snapchat in this, um, in this partnership. The, the technology itself, the creation of the, of the lens is done on the device itself. Um, the technology is embedded. There is no, we don't call any snap server when we use it. The, the, the code as in, is embedded in the in Viber app and the intelligence of the augmented reality is done on the device itself. So um, the same way uh, we work uh, with other content, there is no data, data user data exchange with, uh, with Snapchat at all. It's not at all a part of the objective. Snap has the objective for uh, basically to, to bring their brand with us in countries where they are not that strong. Uh, Snap is the most successful in the US and Western Europe, but not very successful in Southeast Asia or Eastern Europe or, country, or North Africa or the Middle East where we are very strong. So that's the value of their partnership uh, for us, for them, sorry. Uh, but there is no data exchange at all with Snapchat. Okay. Will Viber also have Facebook-like news feed in the future? Uh, is Viber heading towards the having a more Facebook-like uh, user interface? If, if you knew me better, just asking me if there will be some, some 
Facebook like feature, the answer will be no, never, because, because for me, Facebook is exactly the counter example of what should be done in, um, in terms of communication. Um, their policy in terms of uh, user data is, is absolutely, uh, absolutely awful to me. So um, to, if the question is, um, we will have more news features, um, um, the answer is yes. Um, we, um, it's a country by country kind of approach. We have the, we have the, 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 the ability to, to feed with news our users. Uh, the only thing that we need to, to make sure about is the source of the news. Um, we are very sensitive at Viber about the, 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 the fake news problem that happens everywhere in the world. And then when we launch a news feature in a country, we need to have uh, the certainty that we can moderate the content and make sure that the, the news that we are pushing are um, safe news and not fake news. As long as we don't have this ability in a country, we don't we push the, the service. So at some point we will have it in Nepal, and at some point we can imagine that we will be able to do that. Uh, and I'm sure that we will because it is something that is important to us. We we see that in countries where we have pushed the service, we are very successful. So there is no reason that we are not we um, we cannot be in Nepal. But it 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 requires uh, the certainty that we will not push any fake news on our platform. Okay. We, we a, you just just one thing we have mind. Our model is not based like Facebook on the time spent on the app. Okay. And Facebook make money with fake news. The more they push, they push fake news, the best for the better for them because the people spend more time consuming fake news and then they can push their ads. And this is something which is very important to us because this is the counter example that we think we should do as a responsible communication platform. So given that Snapchat and the Viber are both messaging applications, will these brands not call it in the future in terms of the uses? Well, you know, I mean, this is, um, um, we all have in mind that users use three to four messaging platform. It's, um, it's, it's the same thing in the world, everywhere in the world. Um, and um, the, the main thing is you have community of friends or contact that are on a platform, so you interact with them on this platform and some other communities are on another platform. So it might happen that at some point, the same people being on the both platform communicate on Viber, communicate on Snap. We don't see that as a problem because we see the benefit of the partnership and the benefit of the partnership is much, much higher than this kind of uh, potential competition. Competition exists and that's fine. I mean, it's... Um, we don't have the ambition to be the only unique communication tool for the entire citizen of the planet. I mean, what we, we, we want to have our fair share of this need. Um, and if Snap has another share, we're happy with that. Um, okay. So what are the plans for the Nepal? In Nepal, Nepal is a country where Viber has a very strong penetration. Very strong penetration gives us a lot of responsibilities and a lot of ambition because it means that um, uh, Viber is in a position to build what we call in our jargon a meta app, an app where you can find much more services than only communication. Of course, consuming news is one of them, but um, um, creating content, consuming funny content is another one. But being in touch with your favorite businesses as well, not only friends and people, but also your businesses, also the, 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 the businesses that you, that you interact with in your life, restaurants or hairdresser, gym club or... Uh, schools or whatever. And all those, uh, those businesses require some specific type of communication. You don't communicate the same way between two people than one people with a business. And the last piece is the fintech piece. Um, in other countries, we, we see the needs for sending money to each other, sending money to friends, sending money to businesses, paying bills, um, and things like that. So we have the ambition in Nepal progressively it's, uh, to, to build this meta app. We have started in the, the journey uh, by, uh, for example, launching a partnership with a um, Compeer FinTech solution with them. And in the future, we will see more of those initiatives in Nepal. We will see more of possibilities to um, use Viber, not only for communication, but also for paying to um, book a table maybe in a, in a, in a restaurant and, and consume, for example, some content like news or other type of funny content. What is your final message to the prospective uh, Viber user? Um, my only message is thank you. Thank you for trusting us. For, thank you for trusting us with your 
private communication and uh, and you made the right choice because uh, Fiverr is a safe place to communicate. It's a secure place. It's also a safe place even for the younger audience because it's a place where we make a lot of effort to make sure that the content that they will be exposed to is safe for them. Um, and it's true for a lot of topics. So uh, thank you to the Nepalese people and Nepalese user to trust Viber as much as they do. Okay, thank you so much for your valuable time and suggestions. Thanks for having me. Namaste. Namaste.